Hey guys, my name's Mark, this is Aaron. So with today's workout, we're going to be targeting the upper body. We are going to be using some of the functional equipment. The first movement we're going to do is the kneeling kettlebell press. The kettlebell is going to rest onto his arm, supporting it. He's going to press in a complete straight line. Press up, Mark, and rather than dropping the kettlebell, he's going to control it downwards back to the starting position. Run to an inverted TRX row. With this exercise, the further we put our feet in under the TRX, the more body weight we're pulling. Arms straight, core nice and tight. We've got to lift the chest up to the handles. Nice and controlled on the negative. The tighter we tuck them elbows in, the more we're going to work the centre of that back down the wrong boys. Right, next movement, we're going to be targeting the chest and the triceps and we're going to be using a negative push-up. It's going to control the movement down for three seconds. As soon as his chest touches the floor, he's going to shoot himself back up. Again, as I mentioned, absolutely quality movement for the chest and triceps. Next up, we've got our battle ropes. These are a favourite amongst the insiders and for good reason. There's plenty of variation you can choose from. Today, we're going to show you our top three moves. We take a nice wide grip, nice solid base, core tight, chest up, and we're going to get a nice sharp movement up and down with them shoulders. We're going to be doing each of these movements for anywhere between 15 and 30 seconds. You're going to bring them ropes as high as you can, try and put them through the floor, mate. Go. Sharp inwards and outward movement this time. There we go. There we go, guys. Three quality movements on the battle ropes. Okay, away we go. In this movement, we're recruiting the lock. We're working full body. We've got the legs in there, we've got the core, we've got the chest and shoulders. This is an excellent movement for increasing full body strength, burning calories, the lock. Okay, so next up, we've got our ball slam. This is a full body movement. We're not going to lift and drop. We want to use the full body into an explosive slam. Again, with this movement, we want to be working anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds, as explosive as we can, burning as many calories as we can in a short space of time. So sometimes training can become repetitive and boring, so by including all these exercises, we'll keep things varied and enjoyable. 